Okay, in this video, we will discuss about maximum power transfer theorem for AC circuits. So, according to maximum power transfer theorem, so when you can deliver maximum power to the load side is whenever the load impedance equal to source impedance that will deliver maximum power to the load side. But as far as AC circuit concern, here we have got a little change. That is, the load impedance must be equal to the complex conjugate of your source impedance which means is it equal to is it s conjugate or if you take modulus of these two you will get both values are equal because complex conjugate in the sense if it is r plus jx which must be equal to r minus jx and if you take modulus then both values will be same and that is what here if you have r plus xl format then rl must be equal to rs okay and reactance term must be negative signed and finally when you combine these two this will be r plus xl and you will get the opposite value rs minus xs or if you combine you will get z is equal to a complex conjugate of z star okay so we will take a problem how maximum power transfer theorem is applied on ac circuit and this is an example practice problem from Charles Alexander book we have considered as a reference problem and we are going to find out what is the load impedance required to deliver a maximum power and also what is the possible maximum power delivery that is also can be found with the help of a formula okay so whenever we want to find out maximum power transfer theorem we should go through VTH and RTH which means Thevenin's equivalent model and uh, resistance, Thevenin's equivalent resistance. First, we are going to find out what is RTH. As usual, to get RTH, we want to short circuit the voltage source, open circuit the current source. And the reason also stated in my previous lectures, and you can see Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem in my previous videos, where you can understand more theoretically how this works. So now we are going to apply uh, maximum power transfer theorem on AC circuits directly. So first, to find RTH, we have removed the six ampere current source as a open circuit so here there is no 6 amp we have only the remaining part of the circuit okay and we are going to find out what is rth at this location rth at this location so as it is an impedance circuit we can call it as a zth so these three uh, 8 minus j4 j10 they are in series combination we want to combine these three and addition of these three will be 6 plus j sorry 8 plus j6 and we have 5 ohms over here these two 8 plus j6 and 5 they are in parallel the reason why it is called parallel because the starting point of these two resistance ending point of these two resistance are same so they are in parallel and we want to do parallel combination of these two that will give you what is is a th so by doing parallel combination you will get uh, the corresponding value of 5 polar value of 5 is 5 with an angle 0 and into polar form of this will be 10 with an angle 36.89 and addition of these two 5 plus 8 will be 13 plus j6 over here okay and then it is a mathematics so multiply 5 into 10 you will get 50 and this is the angle over here and Converting this into polar form, you will get 14.317, 24.77. Got it? And do modern mathematics and subtract these two values because when you bring to the numerator side, this will be minus sign. So your final answer will be 12.094. And converting this into rectangle form, you will get third sorry 3.41 plus j 0.7317. And taking complex conjugate is change the sign plus 2 minus if it is minus minus into plus so this is the required load point or load value to deliver a maximum power for the given circuit okay and the same way what could be the maximum power delivered to the uh, load side that also can be found with the help of a formula right and for that we want to find out uh, what is VTH because to find maximum power what is the maximum power we need to find out what is VTH value if it is only what is the load impedance point then we can stop with this this is the required load point but we want to find out what is the maximum power delivered to the load because the formula tells you VTH is required so find VTH 
so vth at this location we need to find out so to find vth we are going to replace the original circuit so original circuit means 6 ampere will come here and you can use either nodal analysis from this location or you can use a loop analysis whichever is convenient to you you can use so what we have done here is we have considered as a uh, i think it is a uh, i have done with the um, current division rule let us check so this is your i2 yeah so i2 and this is the branch 5 plus j10 and this is the opposite resistance 8 minus j4 so first you know to find out what is i2 because we are going to find out vth at this location so what is i2 we need to take the actual value 6 which is the original current and um, opposite resistance are this one 8 minus j4 over here and the total resistance is 8 minus j4 plus 5 plus j10 over here and combining these four you will get 13 plus j6 okay by uh, changing the rectangle into polar form the value corresponding to 8 minus j4 is here corresponding value for 13 plus j6 is over here and then do a normal mathematics by cancelling all these three and subtract these two so when you bring this to numerator side this will be minus 24 so the value is minus 51.33 and cancel these two and corresponding value is here and finally vth is equal to i2 into 5 i2 is a current flowing through the branch because these two are series so same current will be flowing here as well as here so i2 into 5 that will give you the voltage drop across 5 ohm so vth value will be into 5 the corresponding value is 18.74 to get maximum power what is maximum power then the formula is used here vth so vth value is 18.74 square modulus value divided by 8 times rth so 8 times rth only here so this is r value so r value is taken not x value 3.41 so approximately you will get 18 point sorry 12.873 watts to the uh, load side as a maximum power so this is all about maximum power transfer theorem for ac circuit we need to find out vth rth and using formula similar to the dc circuit analysis we can find uh, for the ac circuit analysis the only problem is we need to convert polar to rectangle rectangle to polar by mathematics calculation okay thank you